Hello, good morning. How does your mental toughness profile impact your leadership confidence? I'm Leah Zalems and I'm your guide to all things mental toughness and how that translates to your leadership impact. So tomorrow night, in fact, Doug Strakarczyk, the co-founder of the Mental Toughness Profile and uh, research work through AQR International, we are going to do a deep dive into the mindset, into the Mental Toughness Profile of a leader under pressure. And we will be exploring exactly this. How does that set of data uh, in, uh, translate into behaviours in context with the leader's environment and what's going on for them. So come join us. I will put a link in the, um, in the comments below. But this morning, I will talk about the direct uh, impact of mental toughness on leadership confidence. And why confidence? Because that is the, uh, the first thing many leaders will say is the thing that goes when they're under pressure. And, um, and what happens when you lose your confidence? You know, I know for me, I'm much uh, less likely to speak up. I'm much less likely to uh, know what my opinion is, let alone express it. And I'm much less likely to hold my position when someone's criticizing me or not agreeing with what I'm gonna say, if I don't have that sense of confidence in myself. And then when I'm doubting my confidence in communicating with others, I'm certainly not gonna, I will, I will shut up. I, I will say nothing or maybe I won't even turn up. So, you know, I think, that, and we all have that inner saboteur that, that wins the game sometimes, isn't there? So Doug and I will be talking a lot about that tomorrow. But what I wanted to say about the mental toughness profile itself is that it is another another set of data points, isn't it? And the beauty of working with a professional coach who is trained to unpack what that actually means for you, because it's only going to be contextual. You have your unique set of data points, just like it's like a map of your brain uh, at that point in time. And it is that indicators that right there's going to be some scores. Some will be higher, some will be lower but they only have meaning when we have a conversation in context to something that you want to move forward on, that you want, that you're finding, you're suddenly perhaps seeing um, that you default into behaviours uh, that you just cannot seem to change because they're just so deeply ingrained. Um, or maybe, these are the exciting ones, maybe we uncover something that you don't even know at this time, at this moment in time, that that is actually a problem or that that, that that could actually be associated with the impacts that you're seeing or the behaviours you're seeing in people. Maybe people just aren't following your instructions. Maybe your people are just so disengaged and you're worried that they're all, they're all looking for jobs or they're going to leave or they've left already. Or maybe it's you. Maybe you are questioning where you're taking your business and where, where and, and what and, and whether you have what it takes to make that vision and mission uh, uh, happen. So, you know, all of these things, look, we don't, we don't, we're not going to promise you that one mental toughness uh, profile assessment is going to, you know, like solve all your problems, but it certainly gives us a very rich data set and a very rich um, starting point to explore uh, how you really can be that leader for yourself, within yourself. Great to do all that personal development work. But really, as a leader in business, you need to translate that into how you communicate with others, how you make decisions, how you're going to make that next quarter look. Because learning without action is just learning. It's learning plus action that creates transformation and a ripple effect. So the more work we do that is deliberate and intentional and with evidence-based approaches like the mental toughness model, the more effective we're going to be for ourselves and importantly with our people. This is not just about your development. This is the impact you have on being able to inspire your team to take intentional action so that together we can move through this horrible uncertainty of COVID. Oh my God. And it's, you know, all the reports are saying that the job market, the economy is just getting worse. We've got to do all we can to move ourselves forward in the most effective way we can. 
And at the end of the day, my friends, as I said yesterday, leadership is all up here. Your mental toughness is a huge factor in your ability to be able to move through this uncertainty, have all those big feelings and still take yourself and your team in the direction towards success. So join me tomorrow with Doug. Uh, register and if you can't make it live there will be a recording but I encourage you to join us and uh, and let's explore the mindset the mental toughness model profile of a leader under stress under pressure and see what that might unlock for you thanks for watching